listening section. In this section of the test, you all have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section with special directions for each part. Part 1. Pictures. Questions 1 to 3. Directions. Each item there is a picture in your test book and four short statements about it on the tape. They are spoken twice and are not written out in your test book. So you must listen carefully. You must choose one statement. A, B, C or D that best describes the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, mark your choice. Example, look at the following picture. Now listen to the following statements. A. The baby strollers are on sale. B. The basket needs to be refilled. C. The shopping carts are stuck together. D. The trolleys are being rented. Choice C. The shopping carts are stuck together. Best describes what is seen in the picture. Therefore, you should mark C on your answer sheet. Let's begin with question number one. Number one. A. The fisherman is catching some lobsters at the beach. B. The young boy is fishing in the lake. C. The father is watching his son playing. D. There are many people around the pond. Number 1 A. The fisherman is catching some lobsters at the beach. B. The young boy is fishing in the lake. C. The father is watching his son playing. D. There are many people around the pond. Number 2 A. The book is on the floor. B. The mirror is between the lamps. C. The TV is above the chair. D. The table is next to the cups. Number 2 A. The book is on the floor. B. The mirror is between the lamps. C. The TV is above the chair. D. The table is next to the cups. Number 3 A. They are wearing casual clothes. B. The girls have wavy hair. C. They look so sad. D. The girls are slim. Number 3 A. They are wearing casual clothes. B. The girls have wavy hair. C. They look so sad. D. The girls are slim. Part 2. Question Responses. Questions 4 to 7. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several questions spoken in English, followed by three responses also spoken in English. The questions and responses will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book. So you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. You have to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Shouldn't we check in with the receptionist? You will also hear... Hey, I didn't bring my checkbook. B. Yes. We should check it out. C. Yes, 
I suppose so. Choice C. Yes, I suppose so is the best response to the question, shouldn't we check in with a receptionist? Therefore, you should mark C on your answer sheet. Number four. How about some sushi for lunch? A. I don't think she'll come. B. I haven't got my lunch yet. C. That sounds like a good idea. Number four. How about some sushi for lunch? A. I don't think she'll come. B. I haven't got my lunch yet. C. That sounds like a good idea. Number five. What did you think of the movie last night? A. I found it extremely dull. B. I just moved here last night. C. Let's go to the 9.30 show. Number 5. What did you think of the movie last night? A. I found it extremely dull. B. I just moved here last night. C. Let's go to the 9.30 show. Number 6. Shall I put this file on your desk? A. I'll take it now. B. It's probably under my desk. C. It's on the shelf. Number six. Shall I put this file on your desk? A. I'll take it now. B. It's probably under my desk. C. It's on the shelf. Number seven. Excuse me, where can I catch the bus going uptown? A. At the 25th Street Station. B. I'll catch up with you later. C. We don't go to the town. Number 7. Excuse me, where can I catch the bus going uptown? A. At the 25th Street Station. B. I'll catch up with you later. C. We don't go to the town. Part 3. Short Conversations. Questions 8 to 11. Directions. In this section of the test, you will hear several short conversations. You will hear the conversations twice. The conversations will not be printed in your test book. So you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. In your test book, you will read a question about each conversation. The question will be followed by four answers. You have to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Example, you will hear. Do you mind if I use your computer? No, please shut it down after you finish. I will, thank you. You will read. What will the man do? A. Finish his work. B. Lend his computer. C. Borrow the computer. D. Shut down the laptop. Choice B. Lend his computer is the best answer to the question, what will the man do? Therefore, you should mark B on your answer sheet. Number eight. How is your new job? Great, except for one thing. 
I only get paid once a month and my supervisor keeps me busy all the time. That's no good. I get my paycheck every two weeks and my manager likes to help me out every time. Number 8. How is your new job? Great, except for one thing. I only get paid once a month and my supervisor keeps me busy all the time. That's no good. I get my paycheck every two weeks and my manager likes to help me out every time. Number 9. I would like to make a hotel reservation. A suite room, please. All right. How long will you be staying for? I need the room for three nights. We have booked a room for you. Please be sure to arrive before 4 p.m. on your check-in date. Number 9. I would like to make a hotel reservation. A suite room, please. All right. How long will you be staying for? I need the room for three nights. We have booked a room for you. Please be sure to arrive before 4 p.m. on your check-in date. Number 10. Are these yours? No, those are Andrew's. He lent me this stuff to make my job easier. He let me keep it. Can you lend me this one? I really need it to print my papers out. Sure, but only two hours. Just put it back on my desk. Number 10. Are these yours? No, those are Andrew's. He lent me this stuff to make my job easier. He let me keep it. Can you lend me this one? I really need it to print my papers out. Sure, but only two hours. Just put it back on my desk. Number 11. I think we need more paper to print these reports. I thought the supply staff had ordered enough paper for all of us. Yes, but some divisions apparently used more than they should. Number 11. I think we need more paper to print these reports. I thought the supply staff had ordered enough paper for all of us. Yes. But some divisions apparently used more than they should. Part 4. Short Talks. Questions 12 to 15. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several short talks. Each will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book. So you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is said. In your test book, you will read two or more questions about each short talk. Each question will be followed by four answers. You have to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Questions 12 and 13 to the following instruction. The residents of Vanessa University may use the bicycle parking space by following the rules specified below. 1. Each resident may park one bicycle. 2. A resident who uses the bicycle parking space shall affix the special sticker of the dormitory on his or her bicycle. 3. A resident shall always park his or her bicycle, lock it, and take sufficient care against theft. 4. No cars, motorbikes, or motorized bicycles 
are allowed in the bicycle parking space. The dormitory manager shall not be responsible or liable for theft, damage, or other loss of bicycles. Now read question 12 and answer it. Now read question 13 and answer it. Questions 12 and 13 refer to the following instruction. The residents of Vanessa University may use the bicycle parking space by following the rules specified below. 1. Each resident may park one bicycle. 2. A resident who uses the bicycle parking space shall affix the special sticker of the dormitory on his or her bicycle. 3. A resident shall always park his or her bicycle, lock it, and take sufficient care against theft. 4. No cars, motorbikes, or motorized bicycle are allowed in the bicycle parking space. The dormitory manager shall not be responsible or liable for theft, damage, or other loss of bicycles. Now read question 12. And answer it. Now read question 13 and answer it. Questions 14 and 15 refer to the following announcement. Dear parents, Jupiter First Preschool presents the fifth annual Holiday Boutique Bazaar. It's on Saturday, October 18, 2014, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Meet us at Indian Parkway, Jupiter, Florida. Please join us and bring your friends for a fun day of shopping for designer accessories, handbags, clothing, home decor, baby gifts, jewelry, and so much more. Now read question 14 and answer it. Now read question 15 and answer it. Questions 14 and 15 refer to the following announcement. Dear parents, Jupiter First Preschool presents the fifth annual Holiday Boutique Bazaar. It's on Saturday, October 18, 2014, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Meet us at Indian Parkway, Jupiter, Florida. Please join us and bring your friends for a fun day of shopping for designer accessories, handbags, clothing, home decor, baby gifts, jewelry, and so much more. Now read question 14 and answer it. Now read question 15 and answer it. This is the end of the listening section.